Rich people prefer not to talk about money in public, and they never complain about it, neither in public nor in private. Those who do aren't usually great with it. Such people are ready to waste the last 500 bucks on a pair of new shoes and be left with a $10 bill in their wallet. New money tends to scream, show off, and be as posh and luxurious as possible, while old money is way more modest and poised. It's the reason why you may be sitting right next to an extremely wealthy person who owns a multi-billion dollar company and have no idea about it. Wealthy people often care about non-material things more than about something you can buy. They value privacy and comfort. That's why you'll probably never guess how rich a certain person actually is. Sure, there are those who made their fortune thanks to their fame and, as a result, zero privacy. But they make only about 3% of the rich. Rich people focus on what's inside, not outside, and they care a lot about health. Perfect teeth, smooth, spotless skin, and great posture. Grills adorned with precious gems can't interest them. Instead, their main goal is to have sparkling white and presentable teeth. They also care a lot about nails. So chances are you aren't ever going to see a really wealthy lady with long, ungroomed extensions. They prefer their nails neutral, perfectly trimmed, and having zero burrs. Another thing no rich person would ever do is spend time to save money. Wealthy people understand time is the most valuable resource out there, so they never prefer a couple of saved pennies to it. Poor people never pay for something they can do themselves. They always think twice if they can handle it without somebody else's help, be it a car repair, nails, or even a haircut. Truly rich people never bother even thinking about it. Remember, they always prefer their precious time over money. As for clothes, you aren't likely to see many labels on mature rich people. Luxury brands are now focusing on the younger generation, whose priority is to show off sometimes. Even if they had to save up lunch money for a half a year before they could afford to buy that brand new designer bag. Buying something you can't afford is not the best option, especially when it comes to something really expensive. Loans and credit cards eat up your budget with unfair interest rates. You may think having your own housing is cheaper because you don't need to pay the rent, but in fact, it's vice versa. So many rich people prefer to rent, not buy. Shoes are probably the most expensive thing in their outfit. Rich people believe investing in good accessories is important for comfort, plus the accessories do bring any look to a brand new level. Anyway, their outfits always match the occasion. They never overdress or put on all the best clothes they've got to show off. If it's a workout, they put on something that best fits it. If it's a formal occasion, they never hesitate to put on exquisite jewelry to complete their outfit. But they never do vice versa just because some piece of clothing is pricey and might show their status somehow. When wealthy people are out dining, they rarely look at the prices. Even more, they rarely look at the menu either. Usually, they ask the waiter about specialties or simply order what they want. This rule can be applied to almost any purchase. It's pretty easy to understand whether you can afford something or not. If you stop to think whether you can, chances are you can't. Once you've started looking at cars and buildings as if they were cheap as a new t-shirt, it means you've become rich. Some credit cards can be made of metal, and if you ever see one, it surely belongs to a rich person. Different colors are also a good way to show what sort of bank client you are. Metal car fees start at $500 and can reach up to $5,000 per year. Colors matter too, but it's pretty obvious. Those who want to be, and not only seem rich, might want to reconsider their money habits. If you clip a coupon just to get some random discount, better not. You risk ending up spending way more than you planned. In 2018, over 256 billion coupons were distributed in the US. A $200 item seems less appealing to us than one that used to cost $400 but was 50% discounted. You may feel excited clipping the coupon and using it, thinking about the bargain you've just had. But don't fall for it. Coupons make us spend more, forcing us to buy things we don't actually need. Before going grocery shopping, write a list of purchases, not to be lured by coupons. 
Same with discounted items. These can be real bargains sometimes, but if you buy something just because it's a bit less pricey, think twice. Poor quality and misleading delicious food don't give you enough nutrients, making you long for more and more. You can make your dishes more savory, adding some herbs. Try yourself at gardening, growing herbs in pots on your windowsill. It's also a bad idea to go grocery shopping when hungry, and especially if you do it more than once a week. Hunger makes you want to buy more and more. And sometimes, you can have a temptation to buy things you don't normally eat. But you don't care now, since you're starving. Some tips for saving money can be great. But there's one thing you should never, ever do. Lotteries aren't going to make you rich. The only thing they're sure to do is burn your money to ashes fast. And millionaires don't pop into convenience stores just to casually grab a few lottery tickets. Odds are you're going to lose those $2 you invested. Yep, doesn't seem that much, but a regular lottery habit can turn into a major expense. Just count. If you buy two tickets at a time once a week, you'll spend about $200 a year. Money you could spend on education, sport, hobbies, or other long-term projects. All the other get-rich-quick schemes don't work either. The only people who actually got rich with those are their creators. Coffee is not the healthiest habit, so many millionaires don't spend money on it, opting for good quality water or other beverages. Still, if you just can't say no to your guilty pleasure, try buying a thermo cup and brew coffee at home. You'll save money and nature, since the disposable coffee cups aren't recyclable and it takes about 20 years for them to decompose. A pop-in in in a coffee shop may be your daily ritual. But have you ever counted how much you spend on your morning habit? Millennials spend over $2,000 a year on coffee, investing sometimes more than they do in their retirement. Rich people are conscious, and they care not only about themselves, but about the environment, too. Here's why you can often see rich people with their own water bottles. We usually need about 50 ounces of water a day, and bottled water may turn out pricey if you calculate all the bottles bought over a recent year. In total, people buy about 200 billion bottles a year. A nice reusable bottle with a filter will keep you hydrated and rich. As for daily habits, rich people care a lot about what they eat, so their meals never include snacks full of simple carbs. We spend a lot of money on small and quick things without even noticing it. For instance, quick snacks at gas stations may not cost a lot, but if you grab it every now and then, it will add up to a pretty penny in the end. If you can't afford restaurant lunches yet, try packing your own lunch instead. Of course, you can eat out every day or shell out for some ready-to-consume only heat-up lunches. Anyway, a Tupperware with home-cooked meals is healthier and cheaper. These tricks can help you save hundreds of dollars a month.